Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat to Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and the Norman reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you guys that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as the Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deal going on which regards to the 20 and the 30 minute service and basically abates their prices with roughly, I don't know, 10 or 15 percent, depending on which one you are to purchase. So, uh, that being said, going to the tarot reading first, and from the first look of it, it seems that that is to be a little bit of a stressful week for you uh, Capricorns. Just to summarize <clears throat> at the start, it seems that you are to wait for something. So, we do have the Nine of Swords here as a uh, topic of the week, and this card is associated with worries and with, uh, let's say, fears in a very exaggerated state. But the Nine of Swords, it is about, uh, in that specific case, it is about the risk, or it's not even about risk, because we do have the full card here, We this, these two are read cumula uh, cumulatively with one another, and it is a risk that you have recently taken, and now you're waiting for its results to happen, and you're feeling unsettled and worry every day that the result isn't coming around as soon as you want it to come around. Now, the Nine of Swords, from another hand, is, is a card pointing that you should accept a, a full responsibility uh, for your actions. Uh, and uh, if people who are wondering where this is coming from, well, it comes from the Illuminati um, encryption of the card, that you should take a responsibility for what you have done recently or you are about to do and in that specific case the nine of swords involves a, a certain amount of risk you know maybe there are there will be some maneuvers that you have to make or you will have an opportunity to make throughout the week based on a something new that you have started recently a new enterprise that seemed lucrative that you had a, a big hopes in it and um, it, it seemed at that at that point very promising and this time, and now you are feeling the weight of it, you are feeling the hang of it, and you got to basically make your move, but you are feeling petrified making it, because you know how much you have to lose. Now, uh, this card, on a very superficial level, the Nine of Swords, um, it regards to oppression, where, for example, you are oppressed by your boss, and you are feeling the need uh, to... Um, please them in any way possible, being afraid that they are going to dispose from you or uh, into one relationship uh, where you are feeling um, kind of like obliged to, how can I place it, to please your partner with um, having the fear that if you don't, they are to break up with you. So again, it's going to be rather a stressful week where you are going to be afraid for your positions, either in career or either in relationship. And the best way to fight that fear is to take a responsibility of your actions. And why this is happening? We do have the full card. So that the full card as a core of the situation here, it speaks for a brand new beginning. It always speaks from the, for the brand new beginning, but the full card also speaks for immature maturity, sincerity and purity. So maybe um, <clears throat> in some of the cases uh, the Capricorns initiated with uh, initiated a certain enterprise, either relationship or career wise recently, as I said, with their great hopes and with a great amount of openness and, and, and uh, light heartness as well and you know 
a, a great amount of trust as well just so they can find out right now that the things are way more serious than they have anticipated and it really comes quite of a heavy burden at this very point to be uh, rather carefree about the matter and you really need to pick up yourself uh, and in hands you know you need to kind of put yourself together and be way more serious about the situation. It is all that it is asked from you. The full card here as a core of the situation points that things are not escalated to a point where a, definitely you are going to fail in any way or you are to left to, to leave that situation hurt in any way as well. It's just the full here points that it is anyone's guess how the situation is to unfold and is to be determined by your actions here of are you going to be lucrative or happy or you are to be um, kind of plummeting into poverty or being with broken heart. So then we go to the third card, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments. And this is the star card. And that is the card of hope. That is the end of the turmoil. But for you, the I cannot say even the turmoil, but the uh, difficult breakthrough, it is just starting. So uh, this specific week is going to be a week where, um, again, you are not going to find any rest especially if you're waiting for approval or you're waiting the people are to accolade you for a certain performances or in general for um, you know a certain achievement of yours that may not come around additionally you are to find it very difficult to um, retrieve support upon your undertaking it does look like the people are to um, be quite insubordinate when it comes to following a certain plan uh, and uh, initiating a long-term goal as well so you have to do it yourself and you know God helps those who help themselves you know and that will be with a full strength in this um, in this week of yours uh, the star card it's um, it's a very broad one to be honest and uh, falling into a challenging position very generically it could mean that you are uh, that you can start losing hope of that your situation is going to better itself and you are going to start losing hope that actually this new beginning you have recently initiated um, into either your career or into either your relationship it is something that is really going to prove as, as happy or as lucrative as you have imagined at all but uh, again this is just a challenge guys and I think that it is in your mind especially when um, seen here through the elemental dignities with these two cards and especially with the full in between I could say that you are overthinking it way too much you know you are diving into those uh, grim and dreadful thoughts about imminent failure which is just in your ha in your head and you know the the situation haven't passed that threshold of no return so you can still do something about it but again you need to be accountable for your actions and you need to take a responsibility for them and only then it is how you are going to realize what needs to be done moving on forward so you can regain back control over the situation and you sap here uh, the uh, turmoil that you may experience throughout the week. The last card, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Eight of Pentacles, <clears throat> and it basically asks you to be meticulous, to give um, proper attention to the minor details of your work, of your relationship as well, especially if if it is about relationship and if it is about, you know, settling down disagreements, you should not strain from those situation, but situations, but instead involve yourself fully into them so the disagreement can be settled out. Because if you give it a silent treatment, that disagreement and that wrangle will never going to be settled as well. Also, it is very important here to acknowledge that people are together in good and bad either so uh, this card advises you to support your co-workers it advises you to support your boyfriend or your girlfriend as well to support your friends and families etc etc basically you are stronger in packs than on your own throughout this week especially when the star card sits here and it kind of makes it even difficult uh, more difficult for you to obtain additional support 
through your development. And finally, the, the Eight of Pentacles, <clears throat> it asks you to polish and um, develop or kind of like up upgrade, if I may express myself that way, the skills that you are making your living from. So you haven't reached your maximum capacity or maximum potential, which is what we do have from these cards, especially if you are able to traverse the card, the, the star card into a positive, uh, into its positive meaning. You have a lot more to learn, a lot more to acquire as skills and a lot more to profit from. It is just you need to shake down that state of petrification and kind of like attend to the duties with the full amount of responsibility that you are capable of. So that was the tarot reading for you Capricorns and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards there to show us a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Alright, so let's see what we have. Now the first one, this is going to be the ring, and the ring stands for um, commitment, it stands for uh, cooperation, and it stands for bondage. It's kind of like, you know, marriage, or engagement, or business partnership, etc, etc. Then we do have the ship. The ship stands from afar, traveling, it stands for, as well, risk, and it stands for venture. And the last one, this is going to be the birds. The bird stands for social media, it stands for gossips, or it stands for uh, phone call. So these cards are pointing to a, a, a phone call from afar that is going to come about commitment of yours or a partnership of yours. And uh, yeah, basically you are to discuss your future with someone that it is not in your town, you know, with someone that you don't have face-to-face -face relationship or a, a, a the future of a, a kind of like a commitment that it is looming into, into the horizon and you need to decide how to involve yourself in it. In it. And uh, that will involve as well some certain venturous um, attitude and some certain readiness to take risks on your behalf. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, November 19th to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.